Hi guys. Got inspired by a video by Lee Yong Soop. Apologies, I can't get the pronunciation right. I sketched an idea after watching his video and I have a go at making it. In essence, it's just two wheels held apart by some spacers, rubber band up the middle with a weight on it and as you roll it along the weight makes the rubber band wind up and as you let it go it comes back again. Um, it's not new, I've seen plenty of them before, in fact I think I've made one myself. But I remembered when I was watching the video that I've got the remains of this cardboard file. It did have a back on it there and you put your magazines or paper in it. But I thought that would be nice if I cut that into circles I could make this two wheeled item. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a couple of circles uh, put some spaces between it, put a rubber band in it, put a weight on it and see if we can get it to roll forwards and backwards. People always want dimensions. Um, I'm using 90 millimeter radius for no reason other than it looks like I can cut that out and it's going to fit on there quite nicely. Now if you've got some strong scissors you can probably cut round that or you could use a knife. I've got some tin snips. This is cutting okay. I thought this was going to be a bit harder to cut. I'll probably speed up the video as well. There we go. That's one. The other will obviously be just the same, but I won't video it. Now we need some uh, spacers to keep them apart. One of my ideas is just to use barbecue skewers. We have got this card. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll cut four strips of 20 and we'll mark this up so we get them equally spaced. I can either glue them or I could still use barbecue skewers. I could put four barbecue skewers through that actually go right through and then place these on top of the barbecue skewers to give us a bit of rigidity that way. There's our four cross braces. So we now need to mark these up. If you're wondering I'm using the markings on my cutting board here to get the alignment right. I'm coming in a centimetre Then I'll drill holes straight down through, put barbecue skewers through, and then glue these on top of the barbecue skewers, as I say, to give them stability or rigidity. Drilled my four holes. I've also enlarged that one in the middle because that's where we need to push the rubber band through. I don't like using super glue but I'm giving it a try. I'll give that a few seconds and I'll slide the top down. I'll trim these off. Not sure how many rubber bands I need, and I've only got these little yellow ones at the moment. 
So I'm just joining some together. So that's three joined together and then I've got four lots of three. I've made myself this little wire hook so I can push that through there. Use one of these off cuts that will hold that end. Now for the weight I'm going to try this fishing weight which I think is a bit too heavy but it should um, it should do the job. If it's too heavy then I'll swap it for something else. I need to get that over at least one of them Squeeze that over, put that back on there. Right, so as we go round. That should wind itself up. Until it gets to a point where it unwinds. I've done a little modification. I've put a bit of tape on the side there to hold the barbecue skewer in place that's holding the rubber band in place. Same on the other side. So I'll push it away and it should come back. Okay, Let's see if I can push it a bit harder. Oh, not so good, off at an angle. Still coming back though. How about if I wind it up first? There comes a point where the weight won't hold itself in place any longer because the rubber bands are too strong. So I'll do that a bit slower. So we're winding up the rubber band. And if I turn it around and just let it go, we'll see how far it'll go. Ready? The length of the kitchen, which is about five meters. <laughs>